वेलकम बैक पोके फैंस टू पार्ट टेन ऑफ माई पोकेमोन नजलॉक चैलेंज दिस इज माई पोकेमोन रिलियन डायमंड सीरीज लास्ट एपिसोड वी मेड अवे टू पैस्टोरिया सिटी एंड ऑल्सो गॉट अर एनकाउंटर फ्रॉम द माशी एरिया दिस एपिसोड विल क्विकली गो हेड एंड ट्राई टू गेट आर फोर्थ जिम बैच विच वी हैव आई थिंक वी आर वेरी प्रिपेयर फॉर इट कंसिडरिंग द फैक्ट दैट इट्स एक्चुअली ए वॉटर टाइप जिम Anyway, I have gone ahead and switched out my team members and did train up my few of the other Pokémons as well. So let me actually go ahead and show you guys the team that I'm going to be using. All right, here they are, and as you can see, I did decide to use Carnivine in my team. Um, this is going to be just for this gym, especially since we do have a Quagsire. and you can see that some of my team members are a bit over leveled they are around level 36 i'm not really going to be using those pokemons i think the gem is going to be pretty fine uh just by using my bronzor and carnivine but let's actually see how that goes well design wise i feel like this water type gem is pretty amazing especially since it does have the theme for a indoor pool I feel like this is pretty cool and I really like it. I mean it's quite interesting considering the fact that we do have to go ahead and click on a few buttons in order to raise the level of the water. Other than that, you we have the first trainer of this gym and I think we shouldn't have too much of an issue considering we have Carnivine over here. And as you can see the move set for Carnivine is pretty good. It does learn Vine Whip as well as Grass Pot, and if you might know by seeing my old playthrough, which is my Shiny Pearl playthrough, I really like the move Grass Knot on a Grass type Pokemon. It helps us a lot, especially considering that most of these fully evolved Pokemons are gonna be quite heavy, and using Grass Knot is a easier way of taking them down. If you guys haven't really seen my Pokémon Shining Pearl playthrough, please go ahead and watch it. It was really fun, and I did use a few unique Pokémons in that journey that I don't think many people use, and it was pretty cool as well. Anyway, here we have a second trainer, and I feel like this is the first time we're seeing a Barboch. I really like any Pokemon that is having the combination of water and ground types so I definitely like Babbit. It's right there. There is Wooper, Mudkip which I really like. I feel like, you know, these Pokemon can do so much better especially because of their typings. Now they are kind of, you know, very weak against grass type Pokemon but other than that they are pretty solid. I feel like you know taking care of grass type pokemon is pretty easy especially since it does have a lot of weakness and I just don't know I really like Barbot as well Anyway let's move on with this puzzle now you might see me making a few mistakes it has been quite some time since I haven't really um gone through this gym and I am just trying to remember what I did before and there are places where i did get stuck a bit but i think i figured it out after some time anyway here we have a trainer with a wingle which is pretty special it is one of those uh, dual type pokemons that are totally underrated wingle is water and flying now um, if you do have a water type pokemon already I wouldn't really recommend Wingle but if you want something unique you can definitely use it. Um it's one of those pokemon that is you know not too weak even though it looks like it is. It does have a major issue with electric type pokemon as you can see um even a smallest electric type move well take it down. But if you make sure you don't get it hit by any kind of electric type move I think it's pretty good to use. Personally I feel like Pelipper would do really well if you just have a water type team going on especially since its ability drizzle will help a lot during that time Anyway it seems like this trainer did have only two wingles and as you might know I did catch one for myself That was totally an accident but 
Anyway, I do have a wingle with me as well. But for now, I think my gastrodon is doing pretty good. I did forget to mention gastrodon when I was talking about the water and ground type Pokemons. Gastrodon also is a water and ground type and I really like it. Especially now since it did learn a ground type move which it did not really have till now. Recently it did learn I believe earth power. Um, I'm not really sure if it has learned or if it's gonna be learning soon. But I think it will have that move and that is pretty good. Anyway, talking about the water type Pokemon, here we have a Azuril. Now, I feel like Azuril is not actually a water type Pokemon, I think it's a fairy type. But, you know, its color scheme kind of makes it look like it's water type. But, of course, it does evolve into a water type, which is Azuril. And, it's pretty unique. I mean, if you do want to have a water type Pokemon that will fully evolve, as soon as possible, I feel like this is the way to go. Um, but it's not really too strong. Azumarill doesn't really do too much. But it's a unique one that you can actually definitely use. Uh, if you don't want to use Shellos or Bizzel, which are the two prominent uh, Pokemon that people tend to use in these games. And I believe we can actually find Azurils back in the marshy area where I did catch my Carnivine. Um, if you go ahead and go to the telescope that's about, uh, just about the first building, you'll be able to get an encounter for Azurel. Like you can just go ahead and check until you find one. And if you go to that area, you will be able to encounter this one. But again, it is quite weak when it's in Azurel. You do have to actually get it to evolve into a Meryl if you do want to, you know, uh, use its water type moves. Anyway, now I did decide to go back to Carnivine since I did want it to level up. Um, the gym leader's Pokemon will be around level 30. I think that's the final level that he's gonna be having. So I believe for now I'm pretty good. Now regarding the higher level of my other Pokemon is because of my confusion. When I was training up Carnivine who was around level 24 when I caught it. I did not realize that the gym leader for 4 gym would be having Pokemon around level 30. I thought it might be around level 33, so that's the reason why I leveled up my other Pokemon to level 36. And when I actually checked it online is when I found out it was at level 30, so I had already over leveled it at that point. That's the main reason why I'm not going to be trying to use these other Pokemon, which are pretty over leveled for this gym. Anyway, I feel like Canvan can go ahead and defeat the whole team. Alright, here we have a trainer with a Goldeen, which is really not a good Pokemon. I never really liked a Goldeen. I've never used it, but I believe even if I used, I don't think it would be that strong. Unfortunately, over here my Carnivine is actually confused, so that was pretty bad. Now, as you can see, the poison jab really didn't do too much damage, even though you should be expecting it to do more considering that my Carnivine is just a grass type. That actually shows that, you know, Goldeen doesn't really have too much of a attack stat. Anyway, let's see which Pokemon the trainer uses next. I might have to actually switch out Carnivine at this point since it is poisoned. And of course, he has a Babooj. Alright, I guess we can actually switch out to another Pokemon. Currently, my Spunky is at level 32 and I believe it evolves around level 33. Um, it does evolve into a Spunk Tank. And I'm actually waiting for that evolution. We might get it in this episode today and I'm actually quite excited to have one. And I feel like even my Bronzor is much closer to evolution. I know it evolves within level 35. So it might evolve sooner as well. If it does, then we will have all of our team members fully evolved. That is actually pretty good considering that we are still only in our fourth gym. Anyway, let's see which Pokemon this trainer has next. And of course he has a Gyarados. Now whenever it comes for a Gyarados, I never use my Carnivine. Especially because Gyarados has the move Waterfalls around this level and 
no matter what it does a lot of damage i still feel like using luxray is way more better than using any other pokemon when it comes to gyarados it might be just me but i am a bit paranoid about the gyarados i don't know why it might be because i have lost a lot of team members before just to this gyarados i mean not to this specific one but many trainers across this whole game anyway this is where i got a bit confused i was not sure what i was doing there is another button that's actually right down which i didn't really realize at that point again this has been a long time since i have played this game so i was a bit confused over here but eventually i did find out that there was another button um this is the point where i did find it out anyway we were still able to go through so i guess i didn't really waste too much time over there but sometimes you forget even though you play the games many times all right it seems like we have one more trainer left just before the gym leader and we have been doing pretty good till now i think we'll be able to easily defeat this trainer as well all right he has a shell loss not bad okay i did forget to actually um heal up my carnivine so i did have to actually switch out but i'm pretty sure if i did actually heal it up it would have been able to take down all the three pokemon since i didn't want to really waste too much time i just went ahead and switched into my luxray the one thing that i'm really happy about is the fact that we have two pokemon in our team with intimidate ability that is going to be helping us a lot in the future battles i feel like this is going to be helping me at least around the elite core considering the attack stats really do matter at that point anyway let's see which pokemon this trainer has next and of course he has a wingle all right now i know that the gym leader does have a gyarados and a quagsire but i don't remember which his last pokemon was i believe it's a floatzel it is the evolution of wizel but i'm not really sure again I do not remember what Pokémon he had, but I did go ahead and check out that he did have Pokémon around level 30. I guess we are good for this gym as well. I mean, considering the fact that you know I'm having a Luxray that is around level 36, and no matter what, I can still win the battle with that. But I will try and not use it too much. Maybe I'll just go ahead and use it for that Gyarados and nothing else. Anyway, we have defeated all the trainers in this gym, and I think I'll just go ahead and you know challenge the gym leader as well. As you can see, I still have my Luxray up in front, and the main reason for that is because he does start with a Gyarados. and if you do not take down the gyarados as soon as possible it is going to be creating you a lot of issues that is what i've seen before and i do not want to struggle with that gyarados i feel like you know using my luxray should be able to take it down in one hit anyway here is the gyarados it does have intimidate obviously and it's going to be decreasing my attack stat but I have Thunderbolt so I don't think that should be too much of an issue. Anyway, here we are. Let's actually see how this gym battle goes and I hope we'll have a easier time through it. Thankfully, we were able to take down the Gyarados considering we are around 10 levels higher than it at this point. But he is going to be bringing out his Quagsire next. All right. This is why I had my Carnivine, and let's actually take it down with my Carnivine. <laughs> That's the only Pokemon I know that can actually take it down. I feel like Carnivine is gonna be faster than his Quagsire, considering the fact that Quagsires are usually slower. And yep, I did go for Grass Knot, knowing that it will one-shot the Quagsire as well. Thankfully, we were able to take it down. And let's see which Pokemon is gonna be coming out next. All right, it seems like it's gonna be learning Leaf Tornado, which is a really good move. I feel like I should just go ahead and teach it. 
right there we go and my stunky is also leveled up of course it's trying to learn momentum which is really not good i do not like that move all right i did decide to actually go back to my luck three because i found out in my last playthrough that this blow will actually had the ice type move which is really bad considering that you know it might take down my carnivine in one hit so i did have to unfortunately go back to the luxury but i think this was regardless a easier gym considering we were having pokemon that could actually take it down now as you can see even though my luxury is six level higher lozel is pretty fast So if you guys do want to use Bizzle, you can definitely use it. It's really fast and it hits pretty hard as well. And that's how we have got our fourth gym badge. All right, we have defeated him, and I believe we'll get a few more stickers as well. I don't think I'll go ahead and use it for now, but. Other than that, I did forget to, you know, clean up my other gym badges as well. As you can see, they were pretty dusty. But let's at least give it a try on the fifth gym. Anyway, here we have won our fourth gym badge. All right. Now, according to the plot of this game, I remember that we do have to follow the Team Galactic member, but. We do have to make our way to Route Two Ten. After that, um, regarding that, I might not directly go to Route Two Ten. We do have a few routes that we don't really get to explore. Um, you know, without exploring those routes, you can still complete the whole game, which I did do in my last playthrough. But this time, I think it's actually fine for me to actually go ahead and explore it first. So once we finish the cutscene of uh, with the Team Galactic member, I might go ahead and go to route to eleven and to twelve. At least that's the route number I believe they are called. Anyway, here is the Team Galactic member that I was trying to actually find. Now he does tell us not to follow him, but according to the whole gaming plot, we do have to do that. And we will be having a battle with our rival Barry over here. So you do have to be ready for this battle. Please make sure you actually go ahead and heal your Pokémon after the fourth gym. If not, you might have some issues with this battle right over here. Anyway, here he is. As usual, he is going to be starting out with a Starly, who for some reason is still not evolved into a Starly. Yeah. Like I don't get it. I'm pretty sure it should have been a Staravia by now, but it's still not. And of course, it tries to use Endeavor, which is one of its tactics. Pretty good, but still, it's not gonna be helping it. Anyway, at this point, I did want to actually go ahead and train up my Bronzor a bit more, so I did go ahead and keep it up in front. And as you can see. I feel like Psychic is not really doing too much damage. Now it might be because Bronzor is still not evolved, but it seems like Extra Sensory does more damage than Psychic. Anyway, here he is going to be bringing out his Ponyta, so I did have to switch out Bronzor. I know Bronzor can take down the Ponyta, but I did not want to get a crit hit and lose my Bronzor at this point. So I did decide to switch out to Gastrodon. All right, he's actually using Growl, which is um, unexpected. I thought his Ponyta would have better moves than that, but I guess not. At least it's gonna be using Flame Wheel in this turn, so we know it does have a move which it didn't really use. Thankfully, we were able to one-shot it, so. <laughs> I guess that is all for that Ponyta. Anyway, here comes his Rosalia. Now, this Pokemon is because of the fact that we actually chose a Chimchar. If you use a different starter Pokemon, then he will have different Pokemon. Um, 
I guess he won't be having a Rosalia and he might have some other Pokemon in its place. For me, I think I can still go ahead and take down this Rosalia with my Bronzor. Let's see how much damage the Psychic is going to be doing. And it did not do the damage I was expecting it. Now, Rosalia is actually a Grass and Poison type, so it should have a 4 times weakness to Psychic type Pokemons. But as you can see, the Psychic move is literally doing nothing to this Rosalia. I feel like either something is really wrong with my Bronzer or it's just the move Psychic that's not working out for me. I might actually start using Extra Sensory after this. Feels way, you know, feels it does way more damage than Psychic anyway. Alright, he's actually bringing out his starter Pokemon. So I had to actually go ahead and switch him to my country too. You might have seen that I don't actually have Luxray in my team for now. Luxray is actually around level 37 and it's actually quite higher level. So I thought I'll not use it for now. Anyway, we should be able to take down this Primbluff with ease. Considering that my country does have Spark. Alright, we have taken down his Pokemon. I believe we have taken down all of his team members. Yep. We have defeated Barry once again. Seems like he is never gonna be winning against us. Um, that is what I'll be hoping for the future as well. But for now, we do have to actually make our way out of this city. And we do have to go back to Valor Lakefront. Now, I feel like this was a bit unnecessary considering the fact that we are not getting an initiative to go through the other two routes. Um, I feel like those two routes were totally unnecessary or maybe they could have done something with that. But it seems like they have definitely uh, nothing, no storyline for the two routes that are coming up. Of course, I'll go ahead and explore those two routes in this episode. So you'll get to see what I'm really talking about. But for now, let's actually make our way forward and let's actually try and defeat that Team Galactic Grunt who was actually mentioning that he is going to be blowing up Lake Valor. That's actually quite sinister and let's hope he doesn't really do that. But okay, this is the third time we're trying to stop him. And it seems like he doesn't understand the whole thing of talking to himself as he's talking pretty loudly. Well, here he is and this is actually going to be the final time. He is actually going to be battling us right over here. I bet he has a Glamia. At least that's what most of these trainers have. And yep, he has a Glamia. Alright, that was a good guess. And I feel like we can actually take him down with our Bronzor over here. Bronzor is still at level 30 and it's quite under level from the other team members. But I think by the end of today's episode, we should have it at a pretty good level. And I think we shouldn't be too far behind. At least we are around the level that the game is actually expecting us to be. So... That is a good thing. Alright, the Glamio still wants to use Charm, which is really not going to do anything for me, considering I'm not really using a attacking move. And we have defeated his Pokemon. Alright. Now we do get another encounter with Cynthia over here, who is actually going to be handing us the secret potion for the Psyducks that are in Route 210. So, I guess that's the hint for us to actually go over there, but we are not going to be listening to her. We are definitely going to be taking that secret medicine, but we are going to be taking our own time to go to Route 210. As you might know, we do have the TM for Fly. If you want to go ahead and continue the storyline, you can definitely go ahead and fly to Celestion Ruins or Celestion Town and head north from there that will actually uh, you know it's a pretty easy place to go ahead and go over there but as i mentioned before i'll actually make my way back to pastoria city 
and I guess I'll go ahead and heal up my team members as well. And here we are. We are actually going to be exploring route 212 today. This is one of the dreadful routes that I really hate exploring and you'll get to know why. This route is quite annoying because of these mud, uh, I guess, swamps. Now, as far as I've researched online, they usually say click on the yell button. I have tried doing that, but it has never released my character. So, I'm not really sure what to do if he gets stuck in those mud areas. Personally, I just wait for 20 seconds just mashing random buttons and something works out and the character just, you know, gets unstuck. So, I really hate Route 212, but I really like Route 211 because we do have the Pokemon Mansion over there. And that's where we are going to be going today. That's my goal. So, let's actually make our way through Route 212 and, and I don't know, pick up all the items that are here. We do have a few encounters, which means I will get an encounter right here in Route 212 as well as Route 211 and then I guess later one in a Pokemon Mansion. So we do have a few Pokemon choices that we get. I'm quite excited for that as well. But here we have a Pokemon Ranger. So this is the first time we're actually seeing this NPC and it's quite nice to see him as well. I think you'll only find Pokemon Rangers here in Route 212 as well as I feel like there's another new NPC that we see here. I think it's the policeman. Um, but they won't really battle you until it's the night so I'm not really sure if they will battle me right now or I might have to actually come back during the night time to do so. Anyway, here we have another puzzle that we were easily able to take down. And we have defeated this trainer as well. Now this route has a few different ways we can actually go through it. I will try and cover all of them. I just want to make sure I pick up all of the items as well as battle all of the trainers um, in this route. Anyway, here is our first item which is actually a TM for Toxic. I personally have the TM in my uh, Pokemon. I feel like Stunky already has this move. So we don't really have to worry about it. But here is our encounter for this route. It's actually gonna be a booper and I am really excited for this one. As you can see I did go ahead and use Gyro Ball but it is literally not doing anything. I might have to try using another move. I did decide to use extra sensory but unfortunately my bronze or killed the Wooper. It was a crit hit and I just lost my um, encounter for this route which is pretty sad. You know what I'll go ahead and put up a repel after this one. I literally do not want to worry about the pokemons in this route considering that we actually lost our encounter. Now while going through it initially, I did miss this one item over here, it's actually a revive. Which is not really helpful considering that I'm actually playing in a slot challenge. But I guess I can actually use it to sell it in a shop, so that is still good. Anyway, if you do go through that bicycle area, you will come to this part of the whole route. This is also a part that you can actually use to cross over without going through the muddy area. And this is only possible if you're going from route, uh, I guess the Pastoria city to route 211 and not the other way around. As there is a ledge that will actually prevent you from doing so. This is the main reason why I never wanted to go through from Hartom city to route 211. Because that, you know, it increases the time where I might get stuck in the muddy areas. Anyway, here we have a few trainers that we can actually defeat. The first one is a scientist with a Abra. Okay. Alright, that was pretty easy considering the fact that we did have a payback move. Anyway, we are almost at level 31 and I believe we will be after defeating this Katabra. Alright, let's go ahead and use payback over here 
Okay, the Kadabra actually used Reflect. I feel like both Abra and Kadabra are not that useful unless you have a means of evolving them into Alakazam. Alakazam is a really good special type user and if you are able to trade it, you know, go ahead and do that. It's a really good type of Pokemon. If not, if you're not going to be evolving it, you know, um, if you're not going to be doing a trade evolution, I would not recommend using Kadabra as it does not have enough defense. It will go down to the smallest move, so I would recommend using another Psychic type Pokemon. You might try using a Bronzer, Meditite, anything else is fine, but I wouldn't really recommend Kadabra if you're not going to be trading and evolving it. Anyway, we have defeated this trainer over here. Let's move on and let's see what else we have in this route. Now, I really like the background music for this whole route. It's quite cheerful. Um, regardless of the fact that your character can get stuck in the mud. I guess the music is a bit entertaining if you do get stuck. Um, it is quite good. Other than that, here we have another trainer with a side up. Alright, I guess we can still take down a side up with our bronzer. And let's see how much damage we can actually do. I guess the psychic type moves are not gonna be really doing too much on it. But as you can see, the extra sensory did do a lot of damage, so that was quite good. And I really like using the steel type Pokemon in my team. I feel like whenever they are faced against a normal type move, you know, they don't really get too much damage. And considering the fact that most of the trainers do use a normal type move if they do have that option, this is actually gonna make us, uh, you know, it, it's gonna make it more easier for us. Anyway, here is one more item, which is actually a bottle of zinc. This is actually quite helpful. And we are back on route 212, the other part of it. So we have gone ahead and covered up one whole part of this route. I feel like the rest of this route doesn't really have too much issues, considering it doesn't have the uh, muddy slump area. So we are actually good with that. Uh, this is the only area that we did have to actually worry about that we have crossed over. The one thing that usually baffles me is the fact that even though the supersonic move has accuracy of 55, whenever I seem to use it, it never works out. But whenever the NPC uses it, as you can see, it confused my Pokemon. This seems to happen a lot whenever it's an NPC. No matter what they do, even if they use Confusion Ray, that also hits and we seem to con you know, get confused a lot with ourselves more than hitting the NPC. Whenever it's the other way around and when I actually try and confuse another Pokemon of an NPC, then they never seem to hit themselves. They usually hit us. So that is a mystery, you know. I'm not really sure why that usually happens. Anyway, I did decide to actually switch in to my Luxray. I felt taking down these goldies are much easier than trying to use my bronzer that is actually confused. Alright, let's see which Pokemon is gonna be coming up next. And I guess I can actually go ahead and switch out my Stunky who is at level 33. And it will be evolving when it comes to level 34, so we are quite close with it. Alright, she did have a Buzel. And I guess using Venashock is better. Not sure if Sunky is gonna be learning a better Poison type move. Um, I'm actually hoping it will learn Sludge Bomb. If not, I might have to find a TM to teach it that. I believe we have ATM for Sludge Bomb in um, Wavestone City inside the um, Team Galactic Headquarters. Nonetheless, I'm actually hoping that Skunky will itself learn this move. If not, we still have a chance of teaching it as well. Anyway, here we have the NPC who does collect the shards. But in this game, technical shards are, you know, 
these shards are actually quite rare so i don't think i'll get them especially the fact that you will only get them in underground if you have been going ahead and digging a lot in underground you might have these but personally i don't really have them anyway here we have around 3 to 4 um water type trainers most of them are just fishermen so i might have to actually switch out to luxury i do not want to take a risk and lose my i guess my bronze are over here so i did decide to go to luxury and seems like this gyarados is going to be using waterfalls and yep it did use it so that was actually really good i'm pretty sure if i did actually keep bronzer it might have actually gone down anyway we were easily able to take down the gyarados all right that is pretty good and we have defeated this trainer as well let's quickly go ahead and battle all the other trainers in this route all right we have two more trainers on this bridge and they are multiple paths that we can actually take but in this route unlike the route to 14 where if you take one path you do have to go to the end of the route in that here we can actually go ahead and mix and match you don't have to go through only one way you can go ahead and explore the others when are going through the same route right we are still trying to level up my bronze are over here who i believe will be evolving into more rebels which i am not really sure myself i believe it does evolve at level 34 um at least that's what i believe stunty also evolves around so let's see if it does happen all right this trainer also has a babooch um we do have a chance of fishing it up in this route but unfortunately i did not get it because of the hooper that i lost so i guess we are not going to be getting a babooch in this playthrough all right seems like this trainer didn't have a gyarados which is way better even though i do prefer to have a trainer with gyarados since it does give a lot of the xp But at least over here we were able to get some experience just for bronze or All right another trainer with a babooch uh seems too common at this point But that is pretty good enough for me And I really seem to like the stickers that I did place for the ball capsule on my bronze or It looks pretty good especially with this evening settings Um, I feel like it makes it highlight my bronze or more. All right, this trainer has a second babooch. I'm wondering when I will actually see its evolution, uh, which we haven't yet seen. And of course, the Pokémon in this route are quite under level. As you can see, they are around level 18, which is quite low. I I'm not really sure why they have done this. I guess they intended us to explore these routes way earlier maybe uh, once we did go to the Stone City but anyway we are still able to you know safely level up our bronzer without worrying too much about you know going and you know accidentally killing my bronzer All right seems like my bronzer was confused but at least it was able to hit over here and we have taken down the shellos as well not bad even though my other team members are barely getting any exp um i think it's still fine i did decide to go ahead and switch out to my stunky since it's way closer to actually level up and i thought this battle should do it well Anyway, let's go ahead and try using bite. That is the move that could do a lot of damage, and it has taken down the babooch in one hit. Unfortunately, that was not enough for my stunky. I guess I'm gonna be switching out it again in another battle. Okay, here we have a collector. Let's see what kind of Pokemon he's gonna be having. And of course he has a geo dude. Okay. 
Now I was really not expecting a Geodude. I was I guess I was expecting some other Pokemon, maybe Barbosa's evolution, but I guess not. Okay, I guess much easier for us to take down the Geodude with our um, Bronzor at this point. Anyway, we are so close to evolving our Stunky, and for some reason, we are not getting enough EXP from these Pokemon to take it down. All right, let's try at least. You know, maybe it does evolve after this battle. At least I hope. Um, considering the teeny bit of EXP that we're getting. All right, this is the last Geodude, and let's hope we can actually um, level it up. All right, here we go. This is the last Geodude, and let's see. Ah, oh, never mind. That was really bad. I was expecting a bit more EXP. Um, I guess we do have to wait for another trainer to level up. Either way, we can actually go ahead and cross through from here. There is another item in the other side, so we can actually pick it up. Alright, TM for Bug Buzz. That's actually quite good. But I'm not really sure if any of my team members can actually learn it, so I guess not. And it seems like we do not have enough space to go between those two trees over there. So we do have to go all the way around. Anyway, let's quickly go ahead and use cut over here. Again, we have a lot of biking ledges over here. That means we do have a few of these items that we can still pick up. So let's make our way this side. I guess it's fine. Either way, it's fine. And here we have a hidden item which is actually a tiny mushroom all right not bad um, tiny mushroom will actually help you to uh, switch out the moves in your team members if you go ahead and give it to a NPC who is back in um, Pastoria City and it seems like we have come to almost the end of this whole route we do have this policeman NPC over here but he is not going to be battling us right now since it's not actually night. So I do have to come back once it's completely dark. Other than that, I guess we haven't really skipped any other trainers so we can actually move on. Now, since I did find a bee barrel, I thought I might actually go ahead and defeat this one. Just to make sure I can actually evolve my Stunky. So let's actually go ahead and defeat it. Right, it started using rollout, but I think we should have no issues taking it down with the extra sensory. I guess we need two more to go, um, considering it didn't really do too much damage. All right, at least the rollout isn't really effective on us, so that is pretty good. I guess one more move, and we should be able to take down this barrel. And let's see how much EXP we actually get from this one. Um, I'm actually hoping we get enough to level up our Sunky. And we did. Alright, so that was pretty good. And now that we have leveled it up to level 34, our Stunky is finally evolving. We are going to be having a Skuntank. That is pretty good. Skuntank does have a lot of attack stat and special attack stat. I feel like it's way better. Um, it's one of those poison type Pokemon that are sometimes you know underrated because people don't usually use it. Uh, there are a few other Pokemon like Roserade, who is I guess a bit better than Skuntank. But it of course learns Flamethrower which is quite good. I do not want to remove the move Toxic. I think I'll go ahead and remove Bite since it's either between Bite or Sucker Punch. Maybe I guess Sucker Punch is better to be removed since it does have only 5 PP. And it's just, you know, 10 power more than Bite, which has around 25 PP. So I think that's a better choice. Alright, now that we have evolved our Stunky into Skun Tank, it's time for us to go ahead and um, I guess battle the rest of the trainers in this route. 
right, here we have another scientist. And he has only one Pokemon. It's actually a Kadabra. All right. Pretty good. We still have the move Payback in our um, Bronzor. So we should be still able to take down this Kadabra with ease. All right, it did use Psy Beam. As you can see, it did nothing. That is one good thing. And we should be able to take it down right over here. So that was pretty good. All right. We are almost at the end of this route. There is one more pair of Pokemon Rangers who we have to actually battle through. And I feel like Pokemon Rangers do have some really good Pokemons. Um, at least the pair that we're going to be battling is going to have that. So let's go ahead and quickly defeat them. Alright, here they are. And both of them are going to have two Pokemons each. So it's going to be a lot tougher. And they have a Primplup and a Apop. As you can see, they do have the Stardew Pokemon Primplup. Which means we have to actually target the Primplup more. I feel like that's uh, more acceptable. Apom really can't do too much damage. So I think we can ignore it for now. Alright, since Tanki has evolved into a Stun Tank, it's going to be much faster now. And it did hit quite a lot. Unfortunately, Apom did use Astonish over there. So I guess we are not going to be doing moves okay i might have to try and switch out my bronzer later for now i think i'll go ahead and target a palm and have skun time target prim club to take it down and we have taken down one pokemon in the pair that is good all right let's hope that we are faster than the a palm at least stop it from using Astonish and flinching us again. Alright, it seems like my Bronzor is actually learning Heavy Slam, which is almost same as Gyro Ball. So I guess I'll just switch it out. I mean, they both are almost kind of the same kind of move, so I don't really mind. Anyway, that is one Pokemon down. And sadly, it seems like Apom is faster. And thankfully it didn't actually stop me this turn, so that was one good thing. Alright, seems like the other trainer has a second Prim Club, so that is pretty bad. I might have to be a bit careful over here, just to make sure that the Prim Club and Apom doesn't really take me down. Alright, this time let's see how much damage we do with the Venom Shock. Which almost took down the Prim Club. Okay. Alright, not bad. Let's go ahead and try to target the Prim Club with Psychic. And we have taken down the Prim Club. So that is pretty good. Alright, let's go ahead and target the Apom next. Alright, it seems like I might have to actually go ahead and heal up my team members. Um, as you can see, they are pretty low in health and I'm not really sure if I can do that. But I will try and use all the items that I have in my bag to just make sure that my team members are ready for the battles. Alright, the second Pokemon is actually a Meryl. That is cute. And that is pretty cool. Um, we have seen one before. I think we have not yet seen a Meryl. That's one thing we are still waiting for. But we were able to take down the Meryl in one hit, so that is good. Alright, we have defeated both the trainers. And we, I think we have come to the end of Route 12. Alright, let's go ahead and exit this place. And here we are. We are in front of the Pokemon Mansion. I guess we can actually go ahead and try to enter it. Now, of course, we do have an encounter in this route, but I don't think we have any Pokemons that we can actually catch since we do have a lot of these Pokemons in our team already. Alright, here we did actually encounter a Rosalia. That is quite cool. Um, unfortunately, I can't really catch it since I do have a Badu. Either way, we did go ahead and just defeat it. 
and let's move on all right here we are this is actually the entrance for this area and i guess we can actually enter it um we do have a pair of trainers who are left so i might actually go ahead and actually battle them in this episode maybe in the next episode we'll be moving on to to 11 Right here are the trainers that I actually mentioned. Let me quickly go ahead and defeat these two guys as well. Each of them having only one Pokemon. All right, they have a Baneri and a Luxio. That's all right. I think I'm pretty fine having Bronzor up in front, especially since I do have my Skull Tank, who can do a lot of damage now that it has evolved. But of course I realized in the middle that my bronzer is still not healed so I did have to switch it out. Anyway, um I really need to, you know, remind myself that I need to actually go ahead and heal up my team members after a battle or else this is what that happens. I usually forget it and I have to switch in to my other team member just because I keep forgetting it. Either way, Manferno is going to do a lot of damage. and i do have to actually train up my manferno as well as you can see it is at level 35 and i actually missed out training this one up when i was training up the other team members so i guess it's a good thing in some way either way we have defeated these two trainers all right now i did think about the encounter in pokemon mansion before and i think for now we'll only be able to encounter either pichu or pikachu um i guess i decided at the end it's better to have my encounter today rather than waiting until the end of the game because at that point it's not going to really help me you know i have already defeated the champion and it really wouldn't matter so i decided to go ahead and get my encounter Anyway, we do have a few more items that we can get just over here. So, I'm going to be going ahead and picking them up. All right, we can actually enter this room as well and talk to this trainer. And it seems like she is going to be giving us a sooth bell. Now, that's pretty good. This item is quite helpful for evolving my uh, Baju. That will actually increase its friendship level much faster, and it's gonna help me a lot. So I guess that's a pretty good item. Anyway, we have got another great ball, and I think we can actually move on to the other side of this mansion. At least since this side of the mansion seems to be blocked, I'm not really sure when that NPC is gonna be really moving on. But for now, they're gonna be there. So I guess we just have to ignore them. Either way. We can actually go ahead and enter this room and we do have the um the person who is actually owning this mansion over here. He's not going to say too much for us for now. It's going to be the same dialogue. Um I thought he might say something different but I guess not. We have one more item which is actually the TM for Swagger. That's right here. Other than this, the only other thing that's left for us to do is go ahead and get our encounter in this mansion. So let me quickly go ahead and check out which Pokemon we get. And since we have had a long episode today, I think it's been over an hour of recording for now. I think this is a good place for me to end out this episode as well. All right. Here we are the trophy garden where we are going to be encountering our pokemon and all right we found a pichu which is actually quite rare than the pichu you can find a pichu in this garden for 10% chance and pichu is going to be i believe 5% quite rare and i decided to use heavy slam And as you can see unfortunately my bronzer has killed my encounter once again. I am really not sure what's the issue with this bronzer but it seems to be doing that in this episode so I did lose two of my encounters. Either way we have a full team of six pokemons that I can actually rely on. And since we have made our way to Pokemon Mansion I think this is where I'll be ending out this episode. So if you guys are still watching thank you so much for watching my videos 
प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड आई सी यू गाइज इन दी नेक्स्ट वन